workers of the world unite. Is that it? How about, are you for the redistribution of wealth globally? Are you for a global governance, uh, governance or government? Now, maybe you don't care about what these, ide you know, these ideologues are you know, doing at this level. You just care about what's happening in your factory. And that's fine. I understand that. But I want you to think about this. What is your union supposed to do in theory? What it's supposed to do is it negotiates as a group so that the workers are protected, right? Then the strongest employees and the weakest employees get the same guaranteed raises and benefits. That's the way it's supposed to work in theory. It smooths out a whole group of people trading the huge upsides and downsides of, of job security. Got it? Now you might like that protection. You might even, you know, like the fact that some of your weaker co-workers get a bit more security. Maybe. I don't believe in that, but maybe you do and there's nothing wrong with that. But what happens when your co-workers aren't who you think they are? What happens if your co-workers are not in your factory? In fact, they're not even in, in your country. What happens when your union boss is trying to smooth out the difference between someone like you making, let's say, $65,000 a year in the U.S. and someone in China, which they are now merging with in China, $65,000 here and someone in China making $1.50 a day? How, how do you smooth that one out? How does that work for you? More on that next.